this nicely, but you don't look so good. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> I'm not feeling my best today, but I could not miss out on K.E. Oh wow, can I get you some soup or maybe you could take a nap, some cough drops, anything? Um, you know, I don't know about that. There's not much you can do right now to cheer me up. I have my blanket, you know, my pillow. I'm good, I'm good. I just didn't want to miss it. Mm -hmm. I know just the thing that'll mm -hmm. make you feel better. What? Mm -hmm. Let's tune into some KE worship. Oh, yes, that'll help.
Have you seen the bouncy ball of mine with stars on it and unicorns? I don't understand. Siri, have you seen the bouncy ball of mine with stars on it and unicorns? Do you know what the Star Wars Lego Star Wars? I suppose it's possible. That doesn't make any sense. Siri, I'm gonna go. Sorry, I don't understand. Siri, I'm gonna go. Alright! Wow! No matter how you feel, worshiping God is so encouraging. It definitely did make me feel a little bit better. I'm not as nasally and congested! I am so glad that you made it today. See, although you're feeling sick, you can still talk and worship God in any way. Hey! You know, I guess you're right. And guess what? Just like I need water to keep myself hydrated while I'm sick, I always need to be in constant communication and conversation with God to keep my faith living. Constant conversation? Do you mean like talking to God by praying to Him? Yes, yes, yes. But I will say it depends on how you pray to God. What? What do you mean, how we pray to God? Is It has to be a certain way? Well, you know, I have just the story. <coughs> Sorry. Just the story to explain what I mean. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the Pharisee and tax collector. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, Jesus told this story to some people who thought they were very good and looked down on everyone else. Two men went to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, and the other was a tax collector. Tax collectors were hated by many people. The Pharisee stood by himself and prayed this prayer. I thank you, God, that I am not bad like other people, cheaters and sinners, I'm certainly not like that tax collector. Ha <laughs> ha! I fast and give up eating food twice a week, and I give you a tenth of everything I earn. But the tax collector stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest because he was so sad, saying, God, have mercy on me, for I am a sinner. Then Jesus said, I tell you, when the tax collector went home, he was right with God. But the Pharisee was not right with God. Everyone who makes himself great will be made humble, but everyone who makes himself humble will be made great. Now I see what you mean. The Pharisee was not a humble guy. He was actually quite the opposite. Yeah. It seems like he made his prayers always about himself, and during his prayers he would make fun of others. I know, and you know, although we can all be praying to God in any way, we have to be mindful and pray humbly. 
And you know, what I mean by that is that God wants us to have a humble heart. And having a humble heart means to be grateful for who God is and what He has done. What are some other ways that we can talk to God, like in any way? Ooh, okay, so I'm so glad you asked. Very glad. I'll show you just what I mean. Hey, did you know that you can talk to God in any way? It's legit, like actually any way. You could hit God up with a rhyme, like, hey God, thanks for my oatmeal. You're the best, for real. You can also talk to God in complete silence. I know it sounds crazy, right? But it's actually true. God can hear your innermost thoughts. So you don't even have to say a word and he already knows what you need. You can talk to God when you're in the middle of a crowded space, like the busy lunchroom or your little brother's soccer game. You can talk to God with your friends. In fact, the Bible tells us that when two or more people are praying together, he's right there with them also. So simply just grab a friend and just tell God what you've got going on. You can talk to him alone in your room when no one else is around. And the Bible actually encourages that too. You can even talk to God with your eyes closed or wide open. You can bow your head or you can look up to him because you know he is watching you over and over. You can whisper or you can shout it as loud as your lungs will let you. Shouting not your thing, no worries. You could sit down with a journal and your best pen and write your most heartfelt prayers. Or my personal favorite, you can talk to God by dancing and singing like this. God, you're so good. I know, I'm not a very good singer, but that's my favorite. You heard that right. When you're singing what's on your heart, God is listening to that too. No matter which way you choose to talk to God, what matters most is that you just keep doing it. So it's probably not good for me to pray about you losing in the game that we're about to play. What? I'm already sick and now you want to pray about me losing? Uh, come on. No way. Actually, you know, I'm gonna pray about you winning. I guess I should be more like that. Let's play the game, guess the candy from the emoji. Let's do it.
You know what's crazy? God knows everything about me, even before I do. He does know everything, even how many hairs are on your head or what that thermometer is gonna say. Yes, that's so true. You know, I should probably stop thinking what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Have you, have you looked in the mirror today? Uh, I mean, no, I rushed here. I, I feel a lot better. I just didn't want to miss the service. Is, is there a bug in my hair? No, I was just thinking about how funny your hair looks. It's, it's not that bad, and I know something that'll make you feel better. Uh, maybe a wardrobe and hair and makeup change? Even better. Let's dive into our Bible story. Okay. Jesus loved to tell stories, or as the Bible calls them, parables. Jesus told this next story to some people who felt pretty good about themselves. They were confident that they were all good in God's eyes. Jesus wanted to bring some things to their attention. He knew that these guys looked down on everyone else. So he started by saying, two men went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee. That's a religious leader who thinks they love God more than everybody else does. The other man who went to pray was a tax collector. He took money from other people to give to the king. Everybody hated tax collectors. Jesus explained that the Pharisees stood in one place where everyone could see him and he prayed, Oh God, I thank you that I'm not like other people. The Pharisee even went as far as to name off other people he thought were not as good as him. He even mentioned the tax collector and told God that he wasn't as good as him too. The Pharisee reminded God of a lot of things that he was doing right, like fasting regularly and giving a lot of his money. But the story didn't end with the Pharisee. Jesus told the story of what the tax collector was praying. See, the tax collector was praying far away from all the action, and he wouldn't even look up to heaven because he knew all the wrong things that he had done. The tax collector prayed, God, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. See, Jesus wanted people to understand that God heard both prayers. But the tax collector's prayer pleased God, not the Pharisee's prayer. When we pray, we can talk to God in absolutely any way but we just need to remember that prayer is not about making a big deal of ourselves, but making a big deal of how awesome God is and how much we need Him. God sure does hear all of our prayers. He even heard mine that I had prayed earlier. I asked God to help me through this cold and I feel so much better already. Look, I don't even have my pillow or my blanket. That's I just got my PJs. amazing. I am so glad that you're feeling better. I will miss that funky, unforgettable hairstyle though. You know what? I'm gonna change it right now because of you. While you're changing it, let's go over our takeaway for the day. All right. I can talk. I can talk. To God. To God. In any way. In any way. You know, Steve, that was pretty good. But let's say it together this time. Are you ready? I'm ready. I, I can, can talk, talk to, to God, God in any way. way. That was fantastic, KE friends. Let's stay standing as we go over this week's Bible verse. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Philippians 4, 6.
figment of my imagination Of my imagination You're not a fairy tale, you're not make-believe You came from heaven to be the friend that I can always count on That I can always count on so much fun. We got to see Julie survive her cold yes. and learn about how we can pray to God. Let's reflect on what we have learned. Our first question today is, what are some questions you have had about prayer? is, is it hard for you to pray? And our final question is, have you ever told God you are sorry for doing something wrong?
about the best part of our relationship with God, and that's getting to pray with Him. Yes, we can tell Him anything we want, and we can ask Him any questions that are on our minds or in our hearts. Yes. Let's all open our hearts to God right now and pray together. Father God, thank you so much for always being available and being there for us whenever we need you. Help give us the confidence to approach you with anything that we have on our minds or on our hearts. Thank you for always being there for us. We love you so much. Amen. Amen. <gasps> Steve, today has been incredible. I would have never thought that I would have had such a good day, even when I'm not feeling the best, but I feel a lot better. You know what? anything for my friend. <laughs> I know I can't always be there for you everywhere, but like we learned today, God's always going to be there for you. Yeah, I love that. And you know what? You're the best. Ugh. Yeah, I think I might have pushed it a little bit, so I'm getting pretty sleepy. Um, this is very comfy PJ and... Julie, are, are you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just getting very... Dozy. I'm just not not saying you were boring. I'm just I think I pushed it and I'm just Julie? Hey, hey Julie? Huh? Oh, okay. Hey guys, what do you say we let Julie sleep and from the looks of it, she's probably gonna be asleep for a while. And you know what? She'll mean she'll need to catch up next week. Next week! But until then, yeah. remember, God is always gonna be there for you anytime and any any anytime and anywhere, even when others can't be. Signing off until next week. We'll see you, KE friends. Hey, get the water!